We're so pleased that you're with us in what's becoming a continuing series of real stone systems, continuing education units, as well as product knowledge units. Uh, of course, the product knowledge only count for uh, warmth, good spirit, and product knowledge, but we're happy that you're here. People are still admitting as we are speaking right now, so uh, we'll give them another couple minutes to figure out their technology. It's been a crazy time, uh, and we're rethinking how we do business and how we get to you guys and be respectful of everything that we want to be as a society. So we're very pleased and fortunate and proud to be with you this afternoon during lunchtime if you're in the east and central time zones. And if you're having breakfast with us, thanks for coming um, on the west coast and anywhere else. We've had some people as far away as uh, Tobago. And uh, of course, we've got our friends north in Canada, uh, as well as all over the United States. I saw the registrants earlier today, and we have some from New York to Texas to uh, Utah to California, uh, Illinois, uh, Indiana, and uh, parts all over. I saw a lot of familiar names of people I know and repeat folks and a lot of people that are new. So welcome. We're trying a new camera angle. Um, the unfortunate part of this camera angle is it's a little bit lower and I, I realize that my hair, uh, if I took a picture of the leader of North Korea to the barber and said, hey, do this, uh, that might be what I'm looking at. So I apologize for that. Uh, but when's the last time we had a haircut, right? Some of the things that we've gone without for a while, haircuts. And uh, I come from Indiana and there was a shoe store open on Sunday and the cars out front, uh, I didn't realize everybody's shoes wore out in the last eight weeks, but they were clamoring for shoes. And that was kind of funny uh, to me. Uh, I was just happy to be able to get toilet paper and disinfectant. So, uh, all right, let's get things going. It looks like Jim's in the waiting room. Welcome, Jim. And if you have any questions, we have a chat. Uh, we'll all be monitoring that and try to answer those. If I can't answer those questions, myself or your appropriate rep in your territory will get back to you. Our reps are standing by. Uh, it's like a telethon. And we're so very proud, once again, that we topped 1,000 people in our seminars in the first five weeks that we've been giving them. And uh, so we're on our way to 2,000, and you're a part of that, and it's important to us, and, and, the, and the numbers that we get during these things are great. So today we're going to focus on products that are wood and wood-like products. Drillstone Systems is a company that's known for its ledge stone, and we've been in business for 15 years, and... Uh, I would argue with anybody that we're number one in that category. We've got the best quality, we've got the best range of colors, and we've got the best people, which that makes the experience all the better. So if you haven't done business with us, please reach out. We'd love to get you some samples and work with you, especially now. If you need samples, if you've got some projects, if you have any questions, if you've got budgetary situations, let us know. Man, we can handle all those things, anything that comes across your plate, because that's what we do. So uh, reach out, we love it. We love to have face-to-face -face contact and now we love to have video to face and all our reps uh, know how to use their Zoom and they're ready to do presentations and one-on-ones and whatever you might need. So uh, welcome to Wood and Wood-like products. A couple of housekeeping notes. If you go up to the corner of your screen and it depends on your device, it'll say speaker view or it'll say gallery view. If you hit speaker view and pin the video, you'll be able to see myself and my uh, presentation. So I'm gonna go back and forth between the PowerPoint. I'm actually gonna pick up the camera and I'm gonna move around with it. And today, this is, a, this is brand new first time for us. And as you look around our showroom, we're in Troy, Michigan. We also have showroom and warehouse in Denver, Colorado, Aurora, and Ontario, uh, California, which is outside of LA. And you can see all the different products we have. The lighting's not set up for studio. Uh, but if you see anything you like here on our website uh, or in the presentation today, once again, reach out. So I'm going to be utilizing uh, that camera and we'll do our best to figure this out because video professionals were not. Okay, so thank you for the virtual wood and wood-like product presentation. In addition to all our panelized products that we make, 
stone panels, uh, the beauty, the quality, the packaging, the service, the way they lend themselves to commercial and residential items, um, and just the beauty of natural stone has led us to uh, coming up with different materials that are top in quality. If you've sat through one of our CEUs or some of our other presentations, you'll hear me use the word, in the CEUs I'll use the word, um, uh, not natural stone, but it, you know, fake stone and things like that. We actually have a faux stone and it's part of our presentation today. And you can see it on the left there. It's our hive product designed by Giovanni Barbieri. And, uh, but in a, you'll see a products other that we won't talk about today, like the subway tile down below the tempered. And of course, uh, the growing in popularity reclaimed boat wood from uh, 100 to 150 year old shipping vessels. A little bit about our company. We've got great customer service. We've got people that are happy to help. We feel that we're innovative in our line with our ability to come up with colorways, products from all over the world. We source products from India, China, Portugal, Italy, Mexico, um, Vietnam. And we're always searching for beautiful stones that are applicable to the trends that are happening now. And that's uh, so key. And what we're really good at is our relationships to ensure that the quality that you demand that lends to a sustainable design is gonna happen with our products. Special orders, if you can dream it, we can make it. If you've got something that seems outside the lines or not something that you see on the website, give us a call, we'll figure it out. Our products, almost all our products that are suitable for exterior are ASTM tested for freestyle, which means using these products outside, you're gonna have sustainability of design, something you don't have to think about. So many times when we see fake stone on uh, buildings and we drive by and if you my boys we love to play fake stone real stone as we drive down the road because they know that buys basketball shoes they go uh, they'll say hey dad that's fake stone and it, and it just doesn't look good it doesn't weather as well it doesn't um, stand the test that you want on quality project here's a, a bunch of our products today and I want to talk a little bit about mixing products and how the natural wood and the wood looking products blend so well with the faux products. A lot of our products have green capabilities, which means that uh, they either have a low VOC adhesive, they're reclaimed products that were post-industrial, um, and they really minimize the use of natural resources. Many of them contribute to lead points if that's your project. So make sure to check with your rep if that's uh, something that you need on a project, lead capable, uh, lead uh, contribution. We have many tools on the website that are designer and customer focused, including a visualizer, which allows you to take any products that you see today, take a rendering or a project picture and put our stone on there and try it on for size. So uh, you can try on the different colors and take that for a walk. If you're not sure how to do that, your rep would most definitely love to help you create uh, a couple different options you can take a look at and share with your clients or your wife or your husband or whoever um, needs to make the decision. We have hatch patterns, uh, we have Google SketchUp, we have seamless textures, we have all the testing data and job packet information that's available too. So if you need something technical, reach out and the other side of the business is really being a good business. Some of our customers that uh, love our products and spec them over and over again in commercial high demanding applications are listed um, there from McDonald's to uh, many, many hospitality applications and churches as well. Uh, commercial applications and residential just continue to grow for us because of our scope of products and how we service the market. This is an example of some of the hatch patterns and we have these on the wood like products today as well too. So I'd like to start off today with uh, the wood-like products. If you look, if I turn this camera to the left, what you see on the wall is the hive that I talked about. And the hive is 90% resin, 10% or 90% marble dust, 10% resin. And what that means is, that you have a product that not only looks beautiful because it was made in a mold uh, that was either in wood or stone, but, and here's the wood right here. Now, when you look at this product, you see 
what appears to be deep grooves, just like real natural wood. And that's exactly what it is because it came from a natural wood mold. Um, so the realism of this product is incredible. It's a faux product, which means it's fake, but it's 90% marble dust, 10% resin, UV stable. So it's not gonna fade, it's zero porosity, which it can be used in wet areas, it can be used inside, outside, freeze thaw, it doesn't matter. It looks like wood, it wears like stone. Another feature of this product that's hard to pick up on the camera is the three-dimensional aspect of the product. So I have two pieces here, and when you look up on the wall, if you're old enough to remember the video game Cuber, uh, it was a game where the uh, little armless cartoon guy jumped up blocks back when you had to use to go to the arcade and put your quarters in there. And then when you ran out of quarters, you went home. So it goes together like this. You've got a high piece and a low piece, a concave, a convex, an any and outy. And uh, what the end result is, is a beautiful uh, three-dimensional uh, wood or stone-like appearance on the wall comes in four colors. We call this our driftwood. Here's the dark version. And you can see how the light captures the elements of depth. And then we also have the stone versions as well which were made from molds that were made from stone. As I try to figure out the light, but even how you play with light with this thing can be incredibly creative and add so much character, more than just the texture, but the lighting, whether it comes from up or down. And those are called our hive. The realism of the wood look on the hive uh, was so well received that people said, can you do that wood look anything else? We love the way that it doesn't fade. We love the way that you can use it in wet areas, in pool areas, in steam showers. We love that it has zero porosity and not like any other wood-like products made out of concrete that are gonna fade and absorb things and change look over time. We love that, every aspect of it. And so what we did was we introduced a panel. And this is what the panel looks like. The panel is about two square feet. This is actually cut. And I'm gonna show you a panel. That's, this is called our antique wood. And once again, 90% marble dust, 10% resin. The panels look like this when they come in a box. So not only are they easy to assemble and put together, they're very quick. Because there's zero porosity, there is, of course, just like glass, certain materials that you use to install them with, but they slide together just like that. Here I have a dark and here I have a light. And what you end up with is a beautiful installation. And I'm gonna show you some product pictures in just a second. But uh, the beauty of this product line, once again, is its durability and its realism. And it's gonna look the way that it looks for years. I've had this outside my house for probably about six years um, in an environment that not only gets wet and dirty, uh, but catches uh, a great amount of sun and it hasn't faded yellow or changed the look at all. When I show you the application pictures, something that's important to remember with anybody's product, whether they have or don't have, but we're very proud of it because in a lot of situations we do have the design solutions. So on the corners, we have a corner kit for that wood that actually is made up of several pieces that you can put together and it slides right into the panel and it comes in a box and allows you to, I probably not doing that justice, it allows you to create that fingered finish that blends that whole thing together. And that'll fit right into the panel as it's designed. So it goes up very quickly. You don't have to worry about mitering ends. And the design solution is beautiful.
And I need another hand. Okay. And there's a picture of the, if you look at that, the picture of the panels on the, uh, on the PowerPoint. You can see the panel, the size of the panel. You can see the corners and how those go together. I just realized I showed you all that without stopping my share. So feel free to jump in, you guys, and say, hey, switch to the big camera. Um, here is the hive with three different colors mixed together. This is on a, uh, a Hilton project in Houston in the woodlands. Uh, they love the wood, they love the stone, they love the way it went together and they mixed it all together and that's behind the reception desk and uh, it just looks beautiful. This is the technical, technical shots and what the hive looks like and how it's packaged. It's a very contemporary design and it's a product that we sell every week and every month. It's, it's not one of our big sellers, but what we love about it is it opens up conversation to um, what we're doing uh, with our products, the durability where you can put it, but it also lends itself to other products as we mix and match these things together. Our reclaimed boatwood panels are from boats, and I'm gonna stop share here. Oh. I had a video, it were good. Um, I'm gonna stop share. Hey, we got some chat going on. Let me review this real quick. From Real Stone, is that hide interior only? Oh, hive. Stacy, our hive products are, can be used for it, interior or exterior. That's right, good question, Stacy. The hive and the wood, antique wood and driftwood can be used inside or outside. Uh, and, they, and they'll perform incredibly. Uh, both Hive and in, uh, Kevin is in a small window, so we can't see the samples. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, let, me, let me hold up these samples now that I just showed you. In the large window, here's the Hive. And this is what it looks like up close. You can see the depth and the beauty of that. Those are actually, uh, if you're holding this, you can see that those are actually grooves and it looks just like wood. People don't know that it's not wood. And it goes together. It gives you the, the height differences there. I'll show you the colors one more time. Here's the dark version of that. wood was so well received once again that we came up with these panels. If you have a large commercial job or even a large residential job and you require a custom color on these projects, there is a, uh, the ability to do different colors in these with the appropriate amount of lead time. So if you have a question on that uh, or a project or a client that would like to see that, let us know and we would be happy to um, figure out how we can get that accomplished for you. It's just crazy how realist this looks, and, and there's no secret to it, but because the molds were made from real wood, you get wormholes, you get no replication or duplication. Um, it's like one in a thousand. So it's really, really incredible. And then the corner pieces, up close, just for Mr. Miller, go together very easily and quickly. And you're able to have an incredible finish where it's not mitered or it looks choppy. So those design solutions are always what make the difference between um, a first-rate project and something you have to figure out on the job. Love the hive. I may need to order some also. Who's my rep in Bloomington, Illinois? Melissa Kiernan will be with you today. He's on the call right now, and he would love to reach out and get you taken care of. Samples here too. Shannon, thank you. You guys want samples? Let us know. Uh, we'll get them out to you and, and work with you uh, on whatever you need. So we love the feedback. Stacy, of course, Collinswood, New Jersey. Uh, we've got a rep for you too as well. And uh, in New York City for John Sweeney. Thank you. We'll get you guys all taken care of and contacted. Um, 
If you look behind, uh, I've positioned some wood back here on this easel and I put it over our estate stone. I, I think it's so important uh, and some of our most successful partners and designers take a look at our product line and they're mixing the stone and the natural wood as we move that together. I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna get on the move here. You don't know how tough it is to talk to people that aren't talking back. And uh, if there was ever an argument for a couple cocktails in the morning to keep you going, it might be now. But here's what the stone looks like with the natural wood. That's our estate stone. We had a presentation on that and we have a pre presentation online with that product where we break it down. It's a, it's a one square foot panel with a stainless steel mesh, but it looks like individual stone. And then above it is our dark boat wood. You can see the holes in the, where the cleat marks were and the beaches. This, this wood is over 200 years old, if you think about it. It comes from 100 year old shipping vessels that were dismantled and reassembled. And then, uh, you know, when that, when that wood started growing, it was probably over 200 years ago. So uh, the, the beauty of those holes and where the cleats were and you tie off the ropes and the sand and the wind, we dismantle those pieces, we put them back together in panels and we get them out to you. So we've got dark on the bottom, we've got multi on the top, and soon to be coming to you, we call it unfinished. Uh, the beta test name that we ran for the focus group was naked, but people felt, um, hmm. I'm just gonna join you for a moment while Kevin logs back in. I'm Jennifer from Realstone, and we are in the conference room here at our Realstone headquarters in Troy, Michigan. Um, behind me on the wall here is our um, reclaimed wood in the multicolor. Uh, it's a pretty large wall of it. And then we've got these uh, like three by four uh, foot vignettes uh, made of our tempered colors. So we've got uh, three uh, leather wrapped uh, tile colors available in our tempered line. Uh, one of them is called Corona. So we're putting that um, on blast right now, but it's still a beautiful color. Um, and we've got uh, the Toro, which is the black color to the right hand side of the screen here. And then the Robusto, uh, which is which is in the center sort of of my screen and Corona's over uh, to the far right here. Um, and then we've got this nice vignette that's made of uh, the three colors mixed together in a little Chevron pattern there. So. Uh, just some ideas of how to mix and match our materials. Uh, the, the tempered collection, for those of you who aren't maybe familiar with it, is uh, these are natural stone tiles. They're in a, like a subway uh, tile format, which is um, about approximately three by 12 each, each piece. Uh, and they are, these are, um, these three colors are made of sandstone and they are wrapped in natural leather. So really beautiful. It's a nice way to mix the products and, um, you know, have a really interesting installation uh, to, um, you know, be creative with. So you can get as, as uh, creative as you want with these products. Same with some of our other, um, you know, uh, wood-like products. Uh, I see a lot of people coming through our showrooms, uh, not these days, but back in the day when we had a lot of foot traffic um, who were really interested in, in mixing our, our stone and our wood products. And so this is just one example of how to do that. Uh, Kevin, are you back yet? All right. Um, so let's leather. So really beautiful. It's a nice way to mix the products and um, you know, have a really interesting installation uh, to, um, you know, be creative with. So you can get as, as uh, creative as you want with these products. Same with some of our other, um, you know, uh, wood-like products. Uh, I see a lot of people coming through our showrooms, uh, not these days, but back in the day when we had a lot of foot traffic um, who were really interested in in mixing our, our stone and our wood products. And so this is just one example of how to do that. Here's some of our reclaimed wood, the boat wood. We looked at it up close and when you see it installed, it's even more beautiful. Um, how it moves, how it flows, how no one piece is exactly alike. Uh, 
And here it is combined with a lot of our stone um, and how they work together and enhance any room and environment that you look at, whether it's residential or commercial. Here are some options with our natural stone. Our panels are always perfect, six by 24, and the wood is less than perfect. And that really adds to its nature and beauty and how it flows and works. You can see the bottom right hand corner is the wood is combined with a product called spalted oak. And that is a travertine out of Mexico, a remote region of Mexico. And I'm gonna show you that product in a little bit too because it looks so much like natural wood, but it can be used outside or inside and just really has a lot of beauty. And here it is teamed up with our smoky beige honed, our mocha, uh, we have tiles that are six by 24 and 12 by 24. Uh, a honed latte on the bottom, and our dark wood teamed up with our ledge stone. Here's the antique wood teamed up with those as well. And here's a shot of a fireplace with our uh, antique wood dark. This is on a restaurant on the East Coast called the Pig and Cask. They picked this product because it was so durable and it was never gonna change in look. It was always gonna be the same and it wasn't gonna fade. Here you can see some corners. Here's another example of the corners on a residential fireplace and some big, beautiful real stone hearths. We always have hearthstones that mix and match with these products and look beautiful together too. Outdoor and living spaces are a huge component of uh, these wood-like products, these wood-looking products, uh, because once again, they look beautiful and they're zero maintenance. You can just wash them off with a hose. There's a backdrop of that environment. And there's a corner up close, how beautiful that looks. Very contemporary fireplace with wood. The end result is beautiful. Here's a product called the Spalted Oak. I dare I stop my share, but I will. I'm going to show you Spalted Oak. Hang on. This is a piece of stone. It's our spalded oak honed. It's a two piece corner. It actually goes together very tightly. So if you're using it in conjunction with the wood or you're just using it for a wood like look, even your finished pieces will look remarkable. In addition to the corners, and the panels, you don't see any light there. You won't see any glue on the face of the stone. It's a perfect six by 24, just like a rectified tile. This is a hearthstone. Look at the beauty and the movement in that, whether you're teaming that up with wood, with our stone panels, I'm winded. <laughs> uh, it's a piece of, that's a piece of meat right there. Welcome, Dan. I'm gonna share, go back to the PowerPoint. I do wanna be respectful of the time. There is the spalded oak actually installed vertically. The product to the left is our birch. By turning the product vertically, it gives a whole different look. And we're seeing more and more on that too, especially on radius and curved surfaces. Spalded oak again on the fireplace. This is a hive. They've mitered the corners there for that precise finish. There's not a corner solution on that product um, because it's so 
uh, as so many different heights, but they've taken those panels and mitered them and it is possible to do. So if you have a question on that, we can help you through that process as well. Here's the hive again, floated. You can see this is wall to wall, but it's also organic on the top. So we see many installations with this product where it doesn't just go wall to wall, but a lot of times they just float it like a piece of art. And in fact, if you're a specifier, sometimes they put it in the art specification, not the finishes specification. How about a ceiling application with this product? Because they're small and they're easy to install, we're able to really contrast and add some drama to the room. This is a beautiful wine cellar in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, the hive is installed on the ceiling. And there it is up close. That's actually the etched. Here it is wall to wall. Totally different looking product. Project specified by our friends at GSO Architects. And if you have a project and we'd love to feature you when you specify our products as well and launch it to our social media and your company and our partnership with you. A hive project thanks to our friends in the cannabis industry. This actually happens to be a dispensary and uh, cannabis, cannabis industry is good apparently. And uh, it's a beautiful place to buy your, buy your cannabis. That's one of my favorite photos right there, just because what they've done with the light and how it looks undifferent. It looks so much different than anything that I've seen with the product. And they're just playing with the lights and how it works on the surface. We've actually, I don't have a picture of it, but we have a designer that actually played with water and lights on a water feature and ran that thing on an angle. And I saw it in person, forgot to take a picture. I was so uh, taken back with it and uh, uh, just a beautiful, uh, to be able to be, get creative with that. Here it is in the wood finish again. It's a private airport in Nashville. Of course, residential. What a dramatic way to change a room. This is a perfect example of the ability to use this product, whether it's the panels or the hive, in a wet area because it has zero porosity. Uh, they put it in the area. This one was grouted. We see a lot of them that aren't grouted, but this uh, antique wood um, looks beautiful in this award-winning bathroom. There it is a little closer. This happens to be a landing pad uh, on an elevator floor in Detroit. Uh, every floor, 15 floors of the building, you walk out of an elevator and you see this installation. Um, and we see that they were able to replicate it, yet it looks unique and different, uh, just installed just in that area of the wall. This picture, if you look closely behind these bottles, is the hive on the wall. You can see it uh, on the very bottom. So they've incorporated into that uh, very artistic installation. There's a beautiful, I, when we put this presentation together, this was the first time I saw this installation and it's actually stunning. And the way it matched up with the doors, we didn't have anything to do with the doors, but the way the reclaimed wood works with everything else in this room and these, uh, giant tribbles. I'm not sure. Those things look a little mean. I hope they had their shots. Here's a bar. They actually finished it with a piece of uh, wood trim. A nice vignette on a column. Here it is on a, on a fireplace application. Of course, it's wood and we need to be conscious of the heat. Um, but this is a, uh, they moved it away and this happens to be a fireplace shop and they understand the do's and don'ts of the wood. So contact your professional on that. It is natural wood. Here it is in a commercial application.
This is a headboard of uh, one of our uh, salespeople's daughter. She designed this uh, for her daughter's uh, room, put the wood in the headboard, and uh, what you have is just an, uh, a wonderful design element to the room. Here it is working with someone else's stone, not our stone, but someone else's, and it just looks beautiful. More kitchen applications, living room. We're really excited for the unfinished wood. Here it is installed vertically. We, did, we saw that with the spalded oak travertine earlier, and now we've taken the wood and taken what could be really a rustic product and made a very contemporary environment. This is a uh, sushi poke bowl place in Florida. The ability to install the reclaimed boat wood very quickly, you could take a wall like this and just in a couple days have it done. Um, we call it the six hour makeover and we actually have a video that I'm gonna share with you in a little bit um, and how fast and easy you can install that. You can see where this wood ends. They didn't even bother to cut it. They just let it flow into the tile and work that in. I'm gonna see if I can launch this video. And if I can't, I'm gonna follow up and we're gonna send you the link. And I can't. So we're gonna follow up and send you the link after the show. We're still working through how to effectively share videos with you guys. But I had a plan B. So I said, if the video doesn't work, let's take some stills. So. The ease of installing this, measure your wall, so how much you need, 10% extra, and that's how they come wrapped. They come, each one comes shrunk wrapped and put in that plastic, so it's protected. Uh, and that also means it's important to let that wood acclimate like any other wood because it's so old, because uh, it's been um, lived as a tree and as a boat and lived as a uh, abandoned vessel. Uh, this wood moves more than other wood. and We can't predict how much it's gonna move, so you'll see us painting the wall black, cutting our strips. You paint the wall black because we have all those holes where the cleats were, where we tied the ropes off and the fishing poles and, and uh, just mother nature working on it through the years. And the wall black behind it doesn't allow the gaps and the things to show up. You cut your knot holes out with a little knife. You cut your edges to fit, no different than you would a wood floor. You apply an adhesive. We have several recommendations of adhesives that work best with it. Uh, so adhesives need to move with the wood. That's important to understand because the wood moves. You can put adhesive on, you can hit it with a pin nailer over your black wall. And just in an afternoon, whether it's commercial or residential, you can have a, a nice renovation and a beautiful uh, feeling to a wall. We had a customer last year that did it on a Saturday before a Super Bowl party. And uh, it took him about six hours to do a couple hundred feet. That's it for our wood. I put this slide in here because I just wanted to tease you. We want you to come back. And at Realstone Systems, we're so proud of our innovation that uh, soon you'll be hearing uh, glass mosaics from us in the near future. Uh, so uh, a little taste of what's coming down the pipe. We've got some other designer features too with our friend Aaron Adams. We've got a couple of those pre-recorded install, uh, pre-recorded presentations, and we're going to have some one-on-one -on -one interviews with her on Instagram. Uh, we've got a CEU coming this Friday. Uh, it's Thin Stone Veneer, the basics. Uh, we've got other uh, CEUs coming up in the near future, as well as product presentation next Wednesday, which is pool and outdoor products for landscaping. Um, and uh, hopefully we won't have any bugaboos on our camera. Uh, please reach out to us if you have any questions on any of the samples at all. We'd love to get some out to you. We'd love to do one-on-one -on -one presentations for your team. If any of your team members are at home or in the office and you guys want to talk to us one-on-one, -on -one, we're ready for that and flexible and wanting to do whatever it is that you need to do during this time. 
Um, we're so for fortunate to have you with us and be partners with you in this industry. Uh, thank you for your time and we hope to see you again. Please reach out uh, with any questions. If we didn't get to your questions in the chat and you wanna hang out, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but if you need to go, uh, we said it was going to be about a half an hour and it's gone a little bit over. So thank you very much.